Hello, hello, hello. We are back for an extra bonus video this week on SDS. So that is because there is a huge fixture that is looming um, over us. It's coming up in a few days time. I don't know what day this video is coming out, but this is obviously coming out before the big game on Sunday at the Etihad. Man City versus Arsenal. We don't usually do this, so please let us know in the comments if you want us to do some more because there is a lot, a lot of big games coming up from now till the end of the season, not just in the Premier League, also in uh, the European competitions. Um, another thing I'm going to just quickly bring up is we are bringing back our live watch-alongs uh, for some of these huge games. Expect to see potentially one, maybe even two live watch-alongs a week. Like I said, the season is hot and is heating up. We have the big games in the Premier League. We have the big games in the Champions League. Even the Europa League with Fulham's <sighs> Liverpool team. We've got some big games coming up. So, live watch-alongs coming up. Stay tuned. But we are doing a preview today for the Man City Arsenal game. We thought it was such a big game. We need to preview it. Uh, also, quickly, myself and Abs are sharing a mic today because it's a bit of a technical issue. Um, but we are fixing that. It'll be fine for next episode. Do you want to say hi? Hi, guys. There you go. Uh, to be fair, it's Man City versus Arsenal. Abs' team isn't really involved. So he's not going to do that much speaking. But if you have anything to say, just give me a tap and you can speak. Um, just like the other day, we have the same lineup. Fu is here because. His team, Liverpool, isn't involved in this game directly, but they will definitely be watching this game um, and hoping for <laughs> a draw, maybe? Like I was for your game? No, I'm brave. What are you hoping for then? City win. Why? So you're more scared of Arsenal? I'm not more scared of Arsenal. So why hope for a City win? City win and we win the rest of our games. Who wins the league, Sharks? So you think you win every single game you've If done? City win against Arsenal and we win the rest of the games coming up until now to the end of the season, who wins the league? You guys, I'm assuming by the way you're saying that. That's what I'm on then. Okay, uh, and uh, obviously Alex is back, so we've got another <coughs> doing us, so I would love to hear what he has to say about this game. Um, but, listen, big game. We've already played against them at the Etihad, and the Community Shield have already beaten them twice. You know, so mm. we've got, uh, we got, <laughs> we got the head-to-head -head advantage mm. to know up. Um, out of the top three teams, the Tyro Challengers, uh, and the fixtures between them, we are the only team that, one, has won against the other two teams or any of the two teams and two hasn't lost to either of the two teams so we have uh, a good head-to-head -head record going into this with the other two uh, uh, title challengers um, but this time we are going to Etihad we know we haven't had that much luck I think the last time we won was when Cazola and Giroud scored <laughs> those goals like it was a while yeah, ago we had a mate, a double pivot for Cockle and Cazola those days <laughs> it was a good time um, but I mean listen what are we thinking for this game how are we, first of all how are we feeling I want to ask you Alex uh, how are you feeling, just general mood-wise, feeling-wise, optimistic, yeah. pessimistic? What are you feeling? Confident. And there will be people who go, what? But I, I, th I think there's grounds to be confident. Firstly, we've beaten them twice this season. So or, already. And I think the, the Community Shield, I remember sort of around the time, I remember being like, I don't really want to put pressure on, well, I don't like putting pressure on games, but at some point you have to. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we, if we want to go somewhere with this team, we have to beat City at some point. <clears throat> got it over the line at home I, I, I often think about this on like European competition like you hear the names of like Madrid or Bayern or whatever and then you think of your team and go oh we've got no chance but if you actually do a 11 v 11 and you start to go S Saka v I don't know Bernardo Silva at least a conversation I would say Saka's better uh, Martinelli v Doku at least a conversation you start sure, you sure. start to go through and you go actually Rice v Roger Roger's probably the better player but it's not it's not miles we're not Coughlin days yeah, yeah. so in terms of the 11 v 11, I think there's a, there's a huge amount there. And then you look at all the underlying numbers. You look at the XG differential, the field tilt, the points we per game. We love field tilt and SS, don't we? I love field tilt. I love field tilt, FC. That's called um, register. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Like, if you look at all those underlying numbers, Arsenal not only are at the top of those tables, but have turned a page towards the end of the season. I think from like November or so onwards, we, we were we were there. We were there. So <laughs> yeah, I think I'm feeling really confident. I think what what I what I know now is there are certain things maybe coming from like the non-negotiables we were having a chat before about Arteta. I know there will be a level of commitment. Like I, I know I know that from my team. I don't know how the margins will go. I don't know I obviously I don't know what's gonna happen. Mm. But I know we'll turn up. So that mm. makes me confident. I know that players like that. We now have, I, I describe it like, we have people who grow into situations now. We have Declan Rice grows into situations. We have Gabriel grows into situations. There's people who who I go, they're not shirkers of responsibility. That's what I was going to say. There's, there, there's a difference there. That's a key point actually about players that, there's players obviously that grow in situations, there's players that maybe like shell up yeah. in situations. And I think a long 
for a long, long time, we had more players that shell up. I think Big I remember time. games at Anfield where you guys just run us ragged and you had, obviously, those. I remember Firmino and Mane and Salah just having fun against us. Uh, and we had those, like, teams with the Mustafis and Socrates. And Arteta even said that there was one game where he just was in the middle and he just couldn't believe what was going on. Yeah, the game uh, was too fast at, for him. Anfield was too fast for him, man. You're right. And obviously, we've had those at Etihad before. Like, but you're right. Now we do have a lot more players that, like, like I said, will grow into this. And I like the Declan Rice is like even Gabriel Magalhães has been unbelievable this season. And he'll be up for it, you know. Yep. Saliba as well. These kind of players, I think, yeah, it's a big, it's a big difference for sure. I want to shout out. There's someone called Rohan Chivan who's at RJ Arsenal blog on X, and he did a great piece on Arsenal's out of possession structure. The football ideas that Arteta has, obviously, uh, Pep's the superior coach, but you're looking at how the teams are playing at the minute. He's got him, it got that team onto that level, and a lot of it is our out of possession game, and how adaptable our press is. And we were talking about how good the football was last season. Yeah, <laughs> I have this like stupid analogy about like a, I don't know, like a like a craft beer company who's got like one beer that really really works, everyone loves, and then one supplier falls down and you're done. Mm. What you've got to be is those like massive brewing companies who own Corona and Buzz Budweiser and Heineken and all those guys. That's well, the first alcohol reference on SDS. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're not really the kind of boys to do alcohol references, but hey. It's there you go. But you, I was trusting as well. I was taking his word for it. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Phil was nodding his head like, yeah, I had this in mind. I knew I was going to say this. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Allegations. <laughs> but yeah. you've got, you got like, you know, that, that resilience in business is the yeah. same thing in football. It's that, you know, the, the moment one supplier falls down, William Saliba, we were done. And now we have different ways of playing. And specifically this article talks about how we press differently. So for example, Rodri drops into the back uh, back three. We, we step into a mid block. They go to the right hand side. We step into a man to man press. They come into the middle. We're in more of a zonal press. It's like, it's it's completely different. There was a quote from Arteta. He talks about like 43 formations or something like that. He said something like that. It's that, it's, it's that whole thing. It's like the, the amount of adaptability we have out of possession is unbelievable. And then we got, you know, there's been this whole thing about Arsenal signing a number nine. The more I, the more I analyze Arteta, and the longer I, I'm sort of with this project as a fan, I guess. The more I think, I don't think Arteta, I don't think Arteta is signing a number nine, checklist number one because he scores thirty goals. I don't think he wants that. Yeah. That might be a a, a useful benefit benefit. Course, yeah. But he's adding players to the team who can make the team as a collective better as a number one priority. Yeah. And so I look at the team and I look at a goal could come from Saka or Martinelli if he's fit or Havertz or there's there's lots of people, there's lots of different ways, crosses from the half space, cutbacks, set pieces, set pieces all yeah. these different ways of scoring. Yeah. So to answer, <laughs> answer the question in a long winded way, I feel confident because I think I don't know what's going to happen. My personal opinion, I predicted from the beginning is we'll come second. That's been my feeling the whole way through. I, I, okay. st I stick with okay. that. I don't think we'll win it. Who do you have winning it? City. Okay. Because they're City. Yeah. But what I do know is on Sunday, my team turns up. You know what I mean? And listen, this is a brilliant place. And I've, listen, I sp speak to Sharks all the time about what he thinks about Arsenal and, and hearing you off camera a little bit as well. You guys share the same kind of principles. I think you're not wrong in terms of when you say you can go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with these uh, teams. You've beaten City. You've beaten Liverpool. And and in these kind of, these kind of level of games, these huge games against your direct rivals, results... Results. You've mentioned how you can match them in terms of my team's going to turn up, what they're going to do. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can bank on that. The other side of it, because of every football football game, there's two sides to every story, is that what City do have and what they've developed is a nice combination, I think, between Liverpool and uh, and Arsenal in terms of the system. The system being so well thought out and as you, as you say so adaptable and so situational when something's happening over here they have a different different um, uh, solution to it but then you have Liverpool who might not have that but they have the ability of all these players who are just they'll win you a game by themselves yep. I look at City and I genuinely think that they're the best of both worlds in terms of the fact that they do have that adaptability and system, but they also have Haaland and De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. This is this like is, this is a scary thing so, about someone them. will find it. I've been literally saying it's that it's the it's the inevitability and the system, yeah. and when you have both, that's why I think City will win it because they yes you have the system, but sometimes the system can fall down. Like it, it does happen. So what happens then? And who can win? Who can win you a game out of nothing? I think with Arsenal, that might be coming in the market. That might be developing with Saka potentially yeah. because like if you look at Saka's numbers this season. Very like, again, it's like what we spoke about with Salah when he first comes in. It's like, okay, well, let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, let's see if we can, Saka can do it again. But this is the second season where he's been pretty good. 
can you know if we next season next when do we start saying that this is our inevitable player so yeah I, and and you look at the amount, of, the amount of games he breaks open and so on and so forth so yeah i think i th- but i think that's basically been my analysis it's like it's like we don't have that yet yeah and and, and that's fair to fair to think because this is a young squad and it's very still very early on in the project even yeah. though he came in 2019 it is 2024 it is still very alone in this project because now I feel like we all believe that now he's got a settled squad and this is what he's wanted because obviously it takes a few few windows and a few years to get rid of some dead wood while also bringing in players. You can't bring everyone in one window. Like, for example, the summer we just had, I feel like we truly went four out of four, even though we haven't seen Drew and Timber play. Right. The David Raya, the Havertz, you know, the Rice. Yep. Yeah, he's, I think we've gone four out of four and obviously it takes time. And I think now this is shaping up to be his squad, so now it's very early on, the pro- early on in the process of his squad and how they are doing. Um, Fu, obviously you've you've watched your team play against both Arsenal and City this season. What are the biggest differences you've noticed in both sides um, that obviously, you know, could could help us I think for this game? With this game, um, the way Arsenal have been playing previously before the Emirates and even at Anfield, it's like every single time we played you prior to that game, it was like you guys had like a fear factor, respected us too much, but then it's like now I'm here. We're here. Yeah, we're here to play. So if you continue that with City, City, even though they're fighting for the league now, this this doesn't remind me of any of the cities of of, of previous times where they were just bodying everyone. Mm. Like you look at you look what look what Alex just said. He's confident. When did you ever feel like that when you're playing against City? No, he's you don't. Right. So I feel like this 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 is the time. Where you can nick points off City, um, but I still don't think you'll win the league. The win the game or win the league? League. Okay. The game you can. I, don't, I personally don't think you win the game either. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's a fact. No, it's like, fair to I, think. Yeah, yeah. Going I, away I, to I Man personally City, yeah. don't think you win the game. Either. If you do, great. If you don't, I'm even. I'm happier. Mm. If you guys drop points, um, but I don't think either, either of you guys. I'm, I'm a. I'm a big believer of stories. I believe in stories. Do you know what I mean? That's my favorite. Stories are my yeah, favorite. And like, I think stories like are what make when there's storylines. Stories are what make everything mm, in life and interesting. I feel like we got that on our on our side, and it, it, it's it's showing. Do you know what I mean? The players are believing it. Like we're winning games that we probably would have not won last season or the season before that or ever. Like mm. the last minute winners and 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 just always giving a hundred percent. So yeah, I believe in that. So I feel like that's on our side. Mm. So that's why I strongly do believe we'll win the league. Um, Jurgen Klopp's last season and I think he wants this as much as Pep wants it as much as Arteta wants it so yeah we're hungry as ever and again I know it's not about us but yeah we got all the boys back majority of the boys back for for the United game so yeah man scary times ahead for you guys to be fair well I mean listen City have a few injuries Edison's injured mm. Kaoka went down in the yeah. um, England-Brazil game so we don't know what, what, what that's going to be looking like mm-hmm. Um, you definitely probably won't be involved against Belgium. Well, Belgium, Belgium it would have happened by the time the video comes out, so you guys already know what happened there. We're filming this just before. Um, and obviously we have um, potentials of Martinelli, Gabriel potentially could be missing again. I don't think they will. Um, ben White didn't go with England. Saka, came, Saka back. came back. So we should have a pretty full strength side almost, at least almost. Um, yeah, this is going to be a big clash. And I think... Key battles wise, where do you guys see the key battles in this kind of game? This kind of fixture specifically, who do you think, you know, could be the difference makers in this game? Obviously, we have the the, the usual suspects, especially from Man City. They have so many different options, and we said we mentioned as well in the previous video of that stat of Rodri, where he has he doesn't lose yeah. Yeah. when he plays, and he's going to be available finally because yeah. yeah. uh, he wasn't available in the first game when we beat them. How? crucial is he and also how much I want to talk about Roger for a second and Roger and Rice because always a debate between them two and it's not really a debate but it's always a discussion with Roger how much has his role changed with Gundogan leaving and do you think that's been to his and City's benefit or not it's difficult to say I mean in what I've seen of City which is you know it isn't as much as Arsenal I think what I love the thing I love about Roger is that central hub Jorginho actually does it for us when they're camped in the final third, Rodri has that just that positioning where you can always reset to him and he's got that passing range. He can punch it through the lines. He can go over, he can go around. He's an amazing player. I think in terms of key battles, I think it is going to be a chess game in the same way that the the the, the, the game at the Emirates, the Emirates was. was yeah. 
there was all of this stuff about baiting the press and you know how much time the goalkeepers had on on the ball. Yeah, and again, it, uh, sort of upgrades from last year. David Raya, Mikel spoke about it after the game. And he said something like, you know, I, I, what I love is the bravery in my players. Because he said, I've seen play. you know, I, I don't think he was referencing Ramsdale. And I think it'd be unfair to say he was, but he was just talking about Raya. And he said, I've seen goalkeepers in that situation just lose it and, and pump it long, pump it long, pump it long. But actually in that situation, David Raya was brave, held onto it for those, those extra couple of seconds to bait the press, to create those overloads here, there and everywhere. Yeah. I think the, the big battle <laughs> ultimately is going to be between Arteta and Pep. For example, last game, we were really trying to get, we were really trying to force Edison to play out to the left to Ake. And I imagine that um, Pep will do something differently to that because we were forcing them to the left and then they kept losing it long because um, they, they were sort of forced wide and we hit them with a man to man press. And there'll be something different. There'll be there'll be another situation. Arteta spoke about it in the game, the Emirates game last season, where I think he was asked the question, like, has Pep ever surprised you? And he was like, yeah, he did something completely different with Bernardo Silva in that game. And I was not expecting it at all. So I think the battle, there might be 1v1s here and there, you know, Saka versus whoever's at left back, Ake, whatever it is. But I think the real battle will be that you'll see, you know, okay, how many players are they committed? Is it is it 4v5 in the first phase? Is it, you know, how, how they how they work in it? You know, it, that, all that stuff for mm. me is going to be the most interesting part because that's how they outsmart each other. Yeah. And then, you know, how do you create, you know, and... Pep did an interview recently and it's so brilliant because he's so humble. But he said something like, what is Doku's best quality? It's his dribbling. Yeah. So my job as a manager is to put him into as many of those situations as possible to create a system in which Jeremy Doku does 11, 12 dribbles a game. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. my job, right? Mm -hmm. And he also says like, my job is to adapt to the players. The John Stones role only happens because of Josh because Stones. Of John. Jo so, <laughs> Just because so of Joshua. Player, man. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I started to like Alex. You know? yeah, I, I did. So sorry. But now, You're the one I called him Josh Stones in the last video. Because I mean, he said Josh. He said Josh. <laughs> yeah. You called him Josh Stones. Yeah, he, no, he no, was he you. Me name Josh. That's what he said. He do not say me name But, but it's true. It's don't. true. Like, like you said, end of the day, these are top class managers, uh, players anyways, that are playing for the best teams and the biggest clubs in, in world football. You're not going to come and change everything they've learned no. and unlearn that and, and teach an old dog new tricks completely. Yeah. Obviously, Pep has molded players and brought things out of them where they couldn't, you know, Sterling's, uh, you know, Nathan Ake, of course, was top player, but he got relegated to Bournemouth and look how he's performing now. And I'm not saying he's a bad player, but Pep has that ability to maybe make you understand football in a different way. I'm, the amount of players that have said, the way I now understand football, listen to Pep, is, is, is a different level. But that is right. That is a manager's job. You look at what players' best traits are. And you find ways to build systems to make them play their best football. I like that you said the key battles between the two managers because I think it is as well. Do you know? Do you think this could be a, a, a potential of one of them, or if not both of them, overthinking this game? It's, 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 it's something they've both been known for. Both of them on different occasions, like actually quite big occasions, where they're just like because they are such footballing nerds for one of them. But we all are a bit. But it's like these guys are the, of the highest level because. Some of the things that I've seen on our football pitch, I'm like, why did you think that? What possessed you to even think of this thought? And then actually give the instruction and, have, and know that you have the players to execute this. I agree with what you're saying. I, I wanted to touch on what you're talking about, the, the Rodri development. Because what he's done, what he is doing, and Leah spoke about on the pod a couple of weeks ago, I think, where he's, where he's because of the burden that Gundogan left, he had to do this kind of stuff. It's easy to say that. But then to go from being a defensive midfielder under Diego Simeone when you're playing in a double pivot with Thomas Partey, to come to the Premier League now, struggle to adapt to their um, um, stopping transitions early on, then develop that in your game. And I, so I don't see people talk about him enough. Like when we talk about him uh, because of the system, he is the system I see. He is where everything comes from. It all goes through, it all goes through Rodri. And then now for him to develop his game another step further where it isn't just pick up the ball from the center halves and find the better players on the pitch. It's, you might have to go and follow your pass. Go and follow your pass and just see what happens and, and make a run that drag space for someone else because the Foden goal against Manchester United is exactly what happened. Rodri makes a run, a player goes over, not enough cover, Foden puts in the top left-hand corner. Um, impacting games as well. That kind of burden on our player is crazy. I'd love to see what that midfield battle is like and I, I want to know what you guys think. I was going to go maybe, maybe Jorginho and, and Rice in midfield. That's the next player I want to bring up. I wanted to talk about Jorginho's role and, and what's changed with... Arteta now bringing Jorginho into the fold and starting him because obviously there was the Havertz experiment which which was the big big talking point on social media in the start of the season Havertz playing that left centre mid role Jorginho's now come in 
And he's looking like a regular starter now, especially in the, the bigger games as well. Yeah. You know, Jorginho's played in huge games. He's, he's Champions League finals, Euro finals, you name it. And he's won all of them, right? He's won those games. So someone like that to now come into that midfield, to play in that double pivot effectively with Declan Rice, Odegaard now being a little bit more freed up and then Havertz playing up front. Well, also Havertz is, I think, I've said it so many times, such a brilliant football player. And I, and I think people don't, People don't understand that, like how technical he is of a footballer. His first touch, his understanding of the game, his movement, how he's always in the right place at the right time. That's not luck. That's not fortunate. He's always in the right place at the right time. He is he is like um, deceptively quick. He's deceptively strong as well. But Jorginho coming in has allowed all of that to happen. Jorginho will probably start this game. It'll probably be that same system. Jorginho, Rice, Od- uh, Odegaard. Do you feel like, and this is for you as well, that decision has completely changed because we had that window where we weren't winning before like, that decision was such a probably the most important decision that we've made this season or do you feel like it was inevitable that that was going to happen because you know was already, he wasn't yeah, injured he wasn't injured he just wasn't playing good question i could could arguably be the most important decision i, I look at thomas Partey, and that is a player who permanently has the gas pedal on the progressive pass it's just every yeah. single pass goes straight it's through fault, which is yeah exactly to a fault like exactly. i said exactly so There's something he does that, that, that Jorginho right. has an understanding that part part is unbelievable footballer and I, and and I think he's, he's a great player especially in this position like I said he's always finding those channels those diagonals and everything but Jorginho I don't know just the understanding the control yeah. that he yeah. has of a game I think he has that more than party and I think with Declan Rice's energy with his legs with his also his understanding of the game his off the ball his recoveries his aggressiveness his athleticism. That, I think that balance works more than I think. We've not seen it with Party and Rice, but I think I wish Regina was a few years younger, man. Mate. And I think we're set the, for a few years. When, I mean, he's so good. He's so, and when you are that technically good, Arteta spoke about something towards the, I think, before the Porto game where he said, like, the players are going to need some emotional intelligence to know when to gas pedal and when to just step off a little bit. I think they got it wrong against Porto, let's be clear. Mm. But what we've got right this season so much is knowing when the game, actually, do you know what? Georgie, I'm going to sit on it for a sec here. I'm just going to hold hold on to it. Maybe play it back to my centre back. Not be afraid of making those backward, backwards passes. And his biggest deficiency, and, and if there's Chelsea fans listening, they will know, mm. it's getting bypassed in the transition. But yeah. when you're next to Declan Rice with the legs, and Declan Rice, um, if you're an absolute nerd like me, you will do this. You go and watch just R- Rice and Jorginho's relationship in the midfield. Who goes when, and when that happens. And and for example, the Liverpool game is a perfect example. Sorry, um, of you know, all that stuff of Jorginho, like McAllister jumping on Jorginho, him having the technical ability to hold it, Rice making those runs up and down, like the amount of ground that man covers mm. for Jorginho so he can stay there and be like, actually, I don't need to get caught out of transi- uh, in yeah. a transition moment. Perfect example of when um, when, it, when it worked against us, Rice went off at halftime in the home game against Spurs and Jorginho gets caught on transition. It's it's just it's it's having the legs there to kind of kind of help you out with that. And this is what wins you games. This is what wins you leagues. Partnerships and and and, and things like coming together. People complementing each other. Yeah. And these two complement each other so well. Yeah. A question for you, Arsenal fans. We look at we see we see we see obviously all of these developments that you guys have made and all of the the positives that we see from you guys is uh, from you guys' perspective. We know that Pep is gonna. The same way that we talk about Arteta being able to get his players up, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that the City guys will be waiting to, to, to rain on you guys' parade and waiting to try and get the fourth Premier League title in a row. What is the main, obviously, other than the, the clear, obviously, uh, the, the game breakers that are Haaland and De Bruyne, and I will mention a name for you guys to talk about as well, Bernardo Silva, these kind of players who might not necessarily be the main ones, but they are the coaches on the pitch. You talk about the temp- temperament and tempo control. See, abundant with so many of these players who have that ability yeah. to do that. So what kind of threats do you think they can pose to the best defensive system we've seen in Europe? I want you guys to think what you get your thoughts on. I don't want, I don't want to monopolize the... So you, yeah, you, no, you, for you, sure, for sure. I mean, I was going to pose your questions to you as well for you after. Uh, but yeah, I think, listen, they do have those players. Kevin De Bruyne uh, is one of them ones where it's like, he will play because um, he didn't play the FA Cup game. I don't know if he's he playing against... Obviously, we don't know because we've formed this before the game. Is he playing against England? Is he, did he go with Belgium? I think you said he's out, didn't he? He's, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's involved in the squad, really. But the Bruno play, but then there's obviously Phil Foden. Phil Foden's another name who's having a very good season. Um, so listen, all all the advantages on City side, right? Roger's playing. Roger hasn't lost the game. 
you know, uh, they haven't lost in their last 40 home games. Something ridiculous like that. They beat us in the head-to-head. They have the better, you know, more experienced players, especially going forward. Um, they have the, the, of course, the better manager. But it's just always a battle with these kind of games. When there's always a magical special night that's that's bound to come and every team is due one of those, right? And I feel like, let's talk about City. We've been talking a lot about Arsenal. Let's talk about City and where they can win the game. And of course, Haaland this season, it's weird of Haaland as well, right, actually? Because with Haaland, it's like, he is still the Premier League top scorer. Mm. But it's a different type of top goal scorer this season. And I, I'm trying to work out, of course, De Bruyne has missed half the season. But I'm trying to work out why it feels different. Obviously, he's obviously got a few less goals than he did last season. That's one reason. But why it feels different? Because I don't feel like Haaland has have the Premier League has the Premier League un- understood how to play against him better, you know? Or or is it just like I don't know? That's a question that I want to know. And I, maybe maybe do you do you even yeah. think he, you have an answer for that? He, this is scary though for me. If I was asking. For that's that's the that's the like I get it. Is you're saying oh, he's got eighteen this, goals in twenty three league games. It's ridiculous. Ted ties first them two, but this is football. We want to see football players. Yeah, we don't want to see football managers scrap. We want to see the players scrap. Mm. Haaland is someone that you need to be scary, scary, scary. You always when Haaland's because on the pitch, you're always worried. Facts. Yeah, yeah, like he hasn't performed in the last couple of games that he's played in, especially the Liverpool game. He didn't perform, but these are the games where. I hear it, Sharks, because I've been in your position. I've been in, <laughs> even you, Alex, I've been in your position where you are like, excited. This is where, where the most comfortable. I know what's happening. Georgino, I wish he was younger. He's got good boots. All of these things. <laughs> like, it, it's nice to talk about, but like, this is Man City. It is. This is Etihad. Like, as you said, there's always that one club that you, you want to, you, this is it. We're going to smoke this team because this is the store. Da, da, da. It sounds good, but this is Manchester City. This is a team that we need to deep it, and this is not even this is real. The 115 charges, nothing's happened. <laughs> not an Forest deducted points, ever deducted points. But this team, they're so hard to stop. <laughs> they are so hard <laughs> on to and stop. off the pitch. On and off, you cannot stop them. Mm. So, like, as much as you guys are confident, I don't want to burst your bubble and stuff like that. Like, I really do hope that you guys get your parade in because you'll be there. We'll be at the at the <laughs> yeah, because. I got a good plan that day. Like my plan is to go watch Liverpool play against Brighton, two PM kickoff, straight after the game, go to Manchester. What? You know I mean, uh, hate game? watch, hate watch. Have you seen that picture of the guy with the long coat and says, "I'm here to make sure my my my, my up is dead." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Funeral, yeah, just to, yeah, just yeah. to hate watch and be like, "Okay, cool. Who am I looking out for? Who's gonna who? Who's my up now?" Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, just I feel I mean, like you don't have any games left against either us, do you? No, no. No, no, we're so. done with you, man, and and City. But I'm saying, is it's cool to be confident, but be realistic. Do you know what I mean? Be realistic. I mean, Alex, <laughs> Alex, Alex I said, mean, said, I, think said, said, second. I said we come second and probably would yeah. win the game. And I, I and that, that's how cute. much more realistic you want? <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> no, that's cute because but because he says he finished second, but then it's like, okay, who did you put first? So he, he suggested Liverpool will go third. No, he put City first. Yeah, yeah. So he said Liverpool first. So I'm saying now, be realistic. Be realistic. This is not that realistic. Sounds pretty realistic to me. It doesn't. It doesn't. You two now. This game on Sunday for you in your mind, you're thinking whoever wins wins the league, right? No, there's, there's one point that separates yeah. the top and three. And I'm thinking this is the this is the fight for second. You know why? Because I know what's happening. I know what's happening. City's gonna go there. I think who, whoever does win this game does win the league. See, this is what he thinks. But this is a guy <laughs> that's fighting for eighth and shit. <laughs> like you get. I can't think he's a thing serious. For me. See, uh, this is how I see it. City is going to to deal with you guys, and this is you guys are now humbled. Okay. And Liverpool win the league. Confident going to the game. Not like be please. I please. do have some confidence going to the game. I get it. Like, football not, is an exciting No, but sport. I do have confidence going to the game. I had confidence going into the game against City at home. I had confidence going into the game away at Anfield and at, and at Emirates against against you guys. And we didn't lose a single one of those games. Two of them we won. One we drew. Uh, that one was at Anfield. And when and I'm like Alex, of course. I do think the game still favours City. I do think they're probably more likely to win. Probably the favourites, yeah. But and what does that mean? Coming in, it means they're the favourites. No, 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 no. I'm saying if City <laughs> if City favorites. wins, what does that mean to you? What does that mean for Arsenal? Then? There's a th- for me, it just depends how they win. If they do win, no, no. If they, no, win, if they get three they points, I don't care how they win. If it's a handball, so this football. is what we're talking about before. If it's City like get three points. Where people, do you finish? There's there's people who watch football who 
I don't know, maybe don't even actually watch the game, just watch the result. Yeah. So there's result watchers and there's game watchers. Yeah. And no offense, I think you're a result watcher. And that is because you're just talking about, I don't care how they win, if it doesn't matter, if a win's a win, done. And a win is a win, three a points. A win's a win! A win is a win. win, a win. Of course. A win is a win, a win football. A win you is, watch football, a win yeah? Is a you don't win. watch the result of Teletext. It's a, done. A win. But I say the same, you, no, no, no. you do that. That's what if you do. If you win, if Liverpool get three points, I don't care if it's 1-0. I don't care if I understand that, of we course. We get three points, that's what I and care about. And there's days, there's days for he that. Who cares about no. what then? There's there's day, uh, no. Uh, uh, Arteta's got the black jacket. Yeah. This is what I care about. <laughs> <laughs> I want to clap. Is, is that what you're telling me? No, I'm saying there's, I'm saying there's, it's a 30 game season. There's games where we have to just take a win, whether we deserve it or not. Take a, Brother, a, a, you a, take, take a dumb win where we get the last minute goal against Luton. So you don't want it. You're an honest guy. You're like the Canio. If it's a if it's a penalty, you be like, no, he didn't no, touch no, no. it, and give the ball to the ref. I'm taking that penalty. But what I'm saying is, there's th- over the course of a 38 game season, there's gonna be wins. 38. Where, I said 38. What did I, what did I say? 38. I said 38. You said 30. I said 38. You said 38. I said 38. Over the course of a 38 game season, there's gonna be games where we just snatch a win, and I'm taking the result. I don't care. We just beat Luton last minute. We beat Brentford last minute. The home and away, Havertz had to score a late goal against Brentford. That's fine. But I'm saying there's also certain games. <laughs> We're the same. I'm laughing at the no, 30, no, me and the same. Yeah, it's just any win. Me, Shark, and the same. He's like, he's 28, he's 27, but he's 28. He's not 28 until he's 27. <laughs> those, like those dumb debates. I'm like, okay, where results? He's 27 until he's 28. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is, but also there's certain games where if we don't get the win, yeah, and you play well, you're you're over the moon. Not over the it's moon. It's a much better predictor. I wouldn't say term, term. Term. because you, there's a long. It's, that's what I'm saying. That's all it is. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. You're gonna no. cash in. Yeah, yeah. No, if you win, no one, you no win. If you lose, you lose. It's not always just black and white like that. I think in knockout football, yeah. Well, this saying. is knockout right now. We're at knockout <laughs> right now. We're at knockout. <laughs> it is this it, Sunday game. You know this Sunday when you play City. That's a knockout game. You know, like if you lose, just know the league f- class is finished, man. I listen, go, get, get, listen. You two speak so well about the process and the long term thing. But when it gets to the business end, that's it. He's not wrong. That's it. And this is no, this, yeah, this, yeah. this is yeah. like an intangible. 100%. This is like the intangible. That's like the gap between Arsenal and lifting the Premier League title. When those players, and it's not necessarily about approach or performance. It's just when it just becomes. I have this. I have to get a win by hook or by crook. This is I don't get, care. Yeah. To get sexy, play for right now. This game. You win it, and my opinion is whoever wins this game wins the league. You have to do it. You have to do it now. And and like this is like the, the message that the the fans need to get over to the Arsenal players and Arteta has to as well. Yes, this is how we go about making the probability of our win as high as possible. After that, the intangibles that this Liverpool team possesses in abundance is, I don't care how it arrives, we're getting okay. the goals that are enough to beat the opposition. True, very true, and. This is the point of the season where if we're talking about winning the league, losing the league, this is why I'm, I'm also agreeing with Alex where I think maybe we might not get over the line. Okay. It's because at this point of the season, and, and Lias has mentioned his podcast, the, we were on the train, we were on the train to Manchester, we were on the same train as Fernandinho, mm. right? Mm. And we sat down with Fernandinho and we were talking to him, right? And we were like, yo, we'll just have a conversation with him, right? And he was explaining how all those years, he's won, I think, four trophies, four Premier League with Liverpool, uh, City or something like that. And he was talking about how this point of the season is always, he goes, the first half of the season is like, that's when Pep experiments, you know, he's, they're getting over the line, one nils, two nils, they're getting their wins. Even last year, when we were dominating the first half of the season, I think we had 50 points after 19 games. They were still not far, or not that far off. Christmas part is always, always a tough part because they have like three games in a week, whatever. Early January is okay because from, from like, yeah, from like February, from like January, late January to now, he goes, that's when your compete, your FA Cup started. He goes, if you're deep in the Carabao Cup, because the Carabao Cup is usually the end of February, you're still in that competition. He goes, the Champions League's reached the knockout stages in, in, in February, wherever it is. And he goes, the Premier League's at a point now. Of course, he was in those, all those seasons where they were having those grueling battles of Liverpool. He goes, this is the point of the season where every single game is a final and every single player in the squad needs to feel like they're the most important player. And every single player needs to feel like they have a part to play. So this is when we have to rely on those. Tommy Ash is coming back now. Part is coming back mm-hmm. now. Timber's looking back in training. Um, we've got to look at... Reese Nelson's got to look at himself in the mirror. Mill Smith, Fro, Fabio Vieira. Mm-hmm. Like, I can do something uh, in this running. Mm-hmm. Because this is the part of the season where we have City now. Cool. Three days later, we're playing Luton. Three days after that, we're playing Brighton away. 
right? That's in, in the space of nine days, we've got three games. Every single one of those games. If we beat City, it won't matter if we lose to Brighton and Luton. Mm. You know what I mean? That City win's gone now. Three days after Brighton, we've got uh, Bayern Munich at home. You know? And it carries on. We've got, we've got Villa a couple of days later. We've got Bayern Munich again a few days after that. A few days after that, we've got Wolves. And then we've got Chelsea. And then we've got Tottenham. From now, we are now in 25th of March at the time of filming. By the, 20, by the 28th of April, that's literally a month and three days away, we would have played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in, in a month and, and three days. In four weeks, just over four weeks, we'll play nine games. Mm. And this is the point where we need to basically try, look to win all of them. And it's going to get even harder if we do go through uh, in the Champions League even further because then we're going to have all these other games that are coming up and we're going to have either Real Madrid or City sandwiched in between them. So this is the point of the season where it's looking at it and going, it's going to be tough and mm. it's going to be... Because we had, I think the closest thing I can... It wasn't the pressure of the Premier League, winning the Premier League, but there was last season, in October, we had nine games mm. in October last season. And I was like, oh my God, we've got nine games in a month. We won seven, drew one, lost one. We came out of that month almost unscathed. It was an unbelievable month. And the lot, one that we lost, I think, was to, to you guys. But we need another month like that in April. We need another month like that in April. It's one of those months where it's like, this is make or break. Yep. And this City game, of course, is a start of that. Mm-hmm. But also at the same time, if we don't win against City, but we run them close, let's say, okay, let's say there's one where we draw, which I think is a, a, a result to be proud of. And then let's say we lose, but we run them close, we have a solid game, international break didn't affect us too much. We're currently, we currently have the uh, best win streak in Europe, eight straight wins. If we carried it on, let's say we don't get a win against City, but it continues into that month of April and we win every single other game in April. I think that win against City, I know you said it's a must-win game and it is a must-win game. You say, I think that will st- we'll still be in a position where we can win the league. I, th- I think we can lose against City and still win the league. I generally believe that, but I think there's so much different things that can catch us out. We've got a, a Brighton away game, random Brighton away game or a random home game uh, against Chelsea that we still have. We've still got Spurs away. We've still got all these tough games. You know, we've got United away coming. We've got a lot of tough games. I think there's so much we have to, I think, come over. Um, and I am worried. I am worried. But at the moment, we are top of the league. We do have this City game. Um, but for me, it's this Premier League. And I'm going to wrap off my speech here. If we go out in the Champions League, it could be good news for us. Because for me, it's like I'd rather win a Premier League at this point right now than a Champions League. And I don't know if you agree or not, but for me, the yeah. reason... And let me tell I, want to, I want to win both. But of I course, you, I'd love to win both. I think maybe yeah. trying to win both is a bit too hard for us. But I think the Premier League, to win to win this Premier League season, with, like I said, this running we have the rest of the season, with Pep trying to win his fourth in a row, so breaking that chain of Pep... Because if if we if Pep doesn't win this fourth in a row, he's not going to have enough chance to win four in a row again. He's not going to be here for another four years and win four in a row. I think please, please no. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm saying for us to break that chain of Pep winning four to win four in a row, yeah. I think with us ending Liverpool's hopes of Klopp uh, winning that like beautiful story one, mm. winning the Premier League in a three horse race, which we haven't seen in probably over a decade, with two of the greatest, two of the best managers we've ever seen, Pep and Klopp, and winning that and in this run, I think if we win this Premier League season, I think the, the weight of this Premier League win will go down as one of the greatest ever. I generally believe that. Yeah. So for me, the reason why, I, that's the reason I want to win the Premier League more than the Champions League, because the Champions League, I feel like next season will be there in the final four, final eight teams. I think it could be there, but the Premier League, this is the year to win it. With Pep and Klopp still there, I like still that. competing. I like that. I hear that. I like that. The ending? Yeah. No, that is a round of applause. No, I think that's good. I think that was good. No, no, I like that. That was silly. It is. Still. This is the what? This is the greatest. This Premier League. This season. Yeah, it would be. It would be if we win. No, no, no. I'm being real. One of the greatest Premier League ever. Yeah. It is. It, we, we, let's be real. We've never. <laughs> it's never been a, a free horse race where like this anyway. Is, uh, this is, is crazy. Are Pep and Klopp in everyone's t- at least top five Premier League managers? No, I think they're everyone's top two. Yeah, yeah, so they're at least yeah, so they're at least they're at least in top, top five. five. So if Arteta want to, like, still no, so yeah. to, okay, I, I do want to say like whenever we do Premier League prediction, whenever I I predict the Premier League, what happens there? I go by what I've seen in in, in the past. The Champions League is a bit harder to predict because it's obviously a cup competition and knockout stage, and emotions are so much more volatile. And and this is this is obviously testament to the growth of the Arsenal squad. And this is the next step that needs to happen for them. But in the previous two seasons, in and around this time, the business end is where it has either due to injury or due to 
anything that might have happened for whatever reason, it failed in these in the, in the business end for the last two years, getting to the top four and, and winning the title last year. Even though I do agree that you guys were ahead of schedule. This season coming in now, and it kind of does link into the Champions League because the closest thing, and Fu mentioned this, and he's spot on about it, and, and, and he's so right about you, you win, and a win is a win right now because the closest thing that you could emulate to knock out competition in the Champions League is the business end in a title race because every single game, and it's a cliche that managers say all the time, every single game is a final. And you mentioned something that's very important as well. The Dwight York and the Andy Cole and the, and the, the, the Keane and the Skulls, they will win you a lot of games, but the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will win you titles. Mm -hmm. Ole's goals in the final in the Champions League and against Liverpool in the FA Cup on our way to win it. These are the kind of Origi. goals where someone, Origi, is someone who's not necessarily a star, has his wits about him. He smell, he yeah, they don't feel like they're a star, but they, they smell a situation mm -hmm. and I, it has to be me. I'm going to make sure, there has to be a level of delusion in you. There has to be a level of ego inside you where it's like, I have to be the guy that is the difference maker for this squad. I wonder who you think that is for your and team. And I know, go on, go on. out of all three teams, there's one player that he's talking about that's got that. We got one. No, no, no. Not like how we, we got, got one. We got one. No, we, no. you know. we got one. Are you going to say Jota? That was, no, that was Nunes. He was talking about Nunes. Nunes. Everything no, no. about that no, was no, a Nunes talk. Do you know who he was talk. talking about? He wasn't talking it's about Habits. Leandro Trossard. No, Jota. Trossard. That's Jota, bro. If we are to win the league, or the Champions League, the man that will score the <laughs> most crucial goal yeah, is yeah, going to be Trossard, and Come we all on, know man. it. And we all know it. It's just, it's just him. This like, is a new news. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not his biggest fan. Like, I don't think, especially um, in midfield. He's talking about. But he's the guy that just scores the important goals. Right, and he's cool. that player like the Origi, I think he's just going to be that guy. Where, But that's literally, but that's I'm, what it is. I'm saying you need, you're this, saying trust This is the part of the season where you need a squad and yeah. every member of the squad to mm. feel like they have a point to prove and something to say and a part to play in this uh, title running. Let's quickly talk about City because we've been talking a lot about Arsenal. So let's we'll talk about City uh, a bit more. Um, Kyle Walker obviously went off injury. Call me crazy. I think that was a that was a that was a ploy by Pep. Um and I oh, he's hundred percent hundred percent starting, hundred percent starting on Sunday. There's no doubt about man he's starting on Sunday. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne is definitely starting on Sunday, even though he is an injury doubt. I'm not gonna go far and say Edison's randomly gonna start, he's not gonna start. It's a uh, hey, hey, I'll take her. Um but both teams will have a pretty much first choice side, you know? Yeah. Both teams have a pretty much full strength side, and I think and they didn't have Rod Rodri or De Bruyne for the first game at the Emirates. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And how to do at but we, their home. But we didn't have we didn't have Saka or Martinelli until the Yeah, second. yeah, we didn't have we didn't have uh, Saka didn't play at all. Yeah. Obviously Martinelli came on and scored a winner, Saka didn't play at all. Like uh like But we're talking about City now. And I know we're talking about City, but I can't believe you. Like I get it. Their you defense guys, isn't you guys confirmed. are right to be confident. But like you have to be, bro. Are you not scared, fam? Are you guys oh, not scared? Yeah. What, no, what, no, like, what what more you, what, what, what more from an Arsenal perspective would mm. we need to show to be confident? From your perspective. Good I question. don't think you can be. Wait, what? So, so this no, guy no. doesn't answer questions correctly. <laughs> no, 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 like we beat them. We beat them I asked them earlier. Season. I asked them earlier. Yeah, what did I, you say, say? I said, I said, from playing both teams, City and Arsenal. Yeah, what are the main differences you've noticed in both teams that can help us in this discussion I've, to figure out, like maybe a way we can speak about this game better? And what did I say? He started talking about how. You Liverpool you have a strong chance of winning the league, and and, <laughs> and I swear, I swear. So, yeah, I was like, well, look at him. I was like, what? <laughs> no, I, 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 I said, <laughs> so, you guys, I like stories. Clock. You guys played without fear. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. And the city played the fear. Like, no, no, no. City don't look the same. The I said they don't look the same. Am I am I wrong in that? Yeah, so, I know, but you're saying general, wait, wait, like you're generalizing. So, so we played without fear. City don't look the same. Like you lot are trying to make look sexy. We're on course for a Premier League record amount of goals. We've got the best defense in the league. We're beating them twice this season. What more do we need to be confident? We've scored the most well, goals at the least. Like what else is there? That. You care about that? You well, I wouldn't care about <laughs> No, 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 no. You're talking about this, eight win streaks. This ain't Call of Duty. <laughs> this ain't, this, this is not I've got COD. a buzz kill, bro. No, this is, this is not COD. Like, deep it. Please think. I'll this is Man City. You're playing Man City Sharks. No, this is got Manchester. PTSD from Man City. No, like, this is real. This I, is but, real. But the thing like, is, I'll be so I scared of playing Man I City gen right now. I honestly had not understand. I thought I was a little, I'd be the same. Like, ha, you got to 97 points Sh and didn't win the league. You got to the last game of the season where you were, you were winning against uh, against uh, whoever you're playing and City were losing to Aston Villa and you st they still won the league. Exactly. You know, I understand. I, I, want, understand. I want brackets put like around you guys the Aston Klopp part. They scored 97 points. City got 98. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? I understand this. No, I get it, I get that it. would break me as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's generally like he's like, broken. Like, I need you to understand, yeah. The bags under his eyes. Haaland. Haaland. Yeah, it is. It is. I've got B12 because of them. B12. Haaland has never been disrespected in his life. As a footballer, apart from this season, though, no, no, listen. I hear him. Let me finish. I hear him. Land, land, land. He's never been disrespected, mm. but this season, the when he goes on Twitter and sees his name, they're he's getting mad. disrespected. They're talking mad. They're talking so now mad. this is new to him. Comparing him to what's bums like Nunes on? and that. No, Crazy. like, like, what's going on? Like, Man United are trying to buy Hoyland and saying this is the Haaland. This is the real Haaland. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Like he is so fuming right now. What did you say? 18 when Premier he, League goals in 23 it, games. And, uh, and this is the game where he can turn up and everyone's going to forget about all his howlers that he's had. If he turns up this game, everyone's not going to talk about, oh yeah, no, he's not, he's not that clinical goal scorer. He's not this, he's not that. He's not. This game, he, uh, he's frustrated. But that shows the magnitude of this clash and obviously... The, the magnitude block, but, of what? Of this clash. Why are you speaking like that, fam? Speaking English. Is that? Yeah, exactly. See, of clash, of he's talking about uh, culture clash. I culture said, it's, I said, uh, I said, I said, I said, <laughs> I said that says a lot about the magnitude of this clash. It's, uh, what's, what's that mean? Like the, the size of the game. Like it's a blockbuster. It's a blockbuster game. Like, it's a, and, and and look at us. Please stop. <laughs> I love you. What? Blood, blood. Focus. Come inside and focus. I'm focus. Fam. This is focus. This is this is like, the two best you're, teams you're, in Premier League. Like, stop other. seeing it as oh, this is the. This is the Wakanda of football. Like, stop thinking blockbuster prep. You're like, what it's a sold it? out. Let's not think about that. Think about how how are we going to get the three points? That's what we took about you the know, whole this day. This occasion, you're talking about the blockbuster. It's going to be fireworks. <laughs> Arteta's this. He's going to punch up Pep. This is the clash. Don't talk about that. We've been Focus talking. on the points, bro. Like, how can we shut down Haaland? Like, this is the, someone that you need to be careful of, bro. Like no one's yeah. spoken about. We haven't spoken about Haaland. Haaland needs he hasn't to scored in either game this season. Watch now. <laughs> oh, I, I beg you, please. After Sunday, bring Alex. <laughs> <laughs> like, bring Alex. And let's, we could do let's that. I would, I would love to. We could do that. It's fine. I feel like no one's talking about KDB and Haaland. This is where they come alive. Sharks. You know, last season. Yeah. This Can is the City editor always, just play that clip of Haaland running always, into Saliba, please. <laughs> City and falling always over. come alive. Cursing this now, Alex. Stop playing with fate. Sh- April Sharks, City. No, we should, ball- we should be scared. Said, woof, woof. It's we, real, fam. We should that, be scared of City. I think City will win the league, but I'm but I'm saying I don't think there's anything else that we could have. Is there anything else that we could have to be to be confident going into this match? Oh. I'm not saying we're going to win, by the way. I've literally said we're not, I don't think we'll win. I think we'll draw. This is what's annoying. Both of them have said. This okay. is what's annoying me. No, but this is what's annoying me. Yeah, but this is what is annoying me. What's like, annoying you? What's I need annoying to look you? at you because I'm hate watching. Remember, you are. You are of course I'm you looking are. at you guys. Yeah. You're ho- you're both hopeless, basically. <laughs> Wait, well, how? How? So first of all, they were too confident. So now they're too hopeless. confident, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now we're hopeless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Like, you, want, you know what I want? Yeah. When I'm saying you're too confident, yeah, yeah we are. Cause we we got this. No, but then you told me how many times. No, but now you're mad at just saying we're gonna draw this game. Khalas, see, see, won the league. It's done. <laughs> you just just confirmed it. Like, see, there's an issue here. Go on, Alex. Because first, like, let me tell you why. I said you're too confident. Okay. Yeah. Then you calmed down and said, "Oh, we're gonna go for a draw." No, yeah. I didn't say we're gonna to. go. I said I think we'll draw, but we could win. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm confident. How can you win? How, how, how? No, I should know. This is Man- Manchester City. Yeah. 115 charges. Yeah. They haven't been stopped. <laughs> how are you going to beat them now? There's always ways to win. You said Look, Pep Guardiola the same, is the best the same ma- thing. manager yes. that's ever done football. I want to know, how is Arsenal Football Club going to come in with Arteta? It's the same thing. How, and with Arteta and the man and Trossard, 27 years old, great. How are you going to win? <laughs> how? I need, I need the answers. It's the same thing as the home game. The... Both they teams. had no, they, they Listen, didn't have the players like well, that. Uh, yeah, but I'm saying we didn't have Saka. But I'm saying. What does that mean? It means a lot. Fam, Listen, who's creating Nando sauce? Saying, <laughs> it means a lot. Couldn't be there. It's the same thing as the, as, as the home game. I believe it'll be, uh, both teams are pretty evenly matched, right? Both both managers are very, very, like, t- you know, they, they, they're going to cancel each other out. The game was nil nil. We needed a deflected goal to, to win the game, right? I think it'll be a similar game. I think we're very, very close. I think it'll be a, a great game for the football purists to watch. Probably a boring game for the result watchers like yourself. So uh, it'll be it'll be what a very it it'll be a very no, no, but it'll be a very good game of football and it's like both both men trying to out across each other. You're gonna you're gonna see lots of different de- different de- passes de- of play, different patterns they call of play. Me delusional. And then what's they gonna happen me. is what's gonna happen is either side will snatch it somehow in, 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 in 
Yeah, it'll be fine margins. Yeah, guys, guys, we guys, might, guys, guys, we guys. might get a set piece. We're the best team in set piece in the league. Yeah, set yeah, you might are. Change the you game. are. Yes. A set piece might be the difference. I mean, you saw they had a set piece routine against you guys at Anfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they yeah, mastered yeah, it. Yeah. They, post. they did. They <laughs> did. You know what I mean, so but this is Etihad. If like this is what I'm trying to say, like you guys need to please boop, pop that bubble and come back. Mm. Yeah, because if we was playing them at Etihad, I'm gonna be so real. They got, they got the three points, bro. Yeah, you could do that. We're not doing. We're not you, bro. We're like, top side. This is Manchester City, especially. But if you'd beaten them twice that season already, surely you'd be like, "Oh, we're a bit." We're no, but no, when's no, the last no, time no. you won at Etihad? No, no, no. Uh, 2016. <laughs> yeah, see, with who? Um, Cochrane and that. Eight years ago. That's what I'm trying to say. Look, football, football teams. Alex, you know, in that time, football teams. Yeah? Football Alex, teams. You need to understand because again, you guys are you guys only experienced this City team for one one season last season. Hmm. When it comes to April, I can see Pep in his eyes. No, genuinely, look. When it comes to April, he's scarred. April with Man City and in April. I don't. I, I'm being real. I don't know how you man are speaking. So how do you think you're going to? We win are the playing league, for the draw. Huh? You made it sound like City have got this all done against these man. Yeah. No, but you just said it's a, it's no, a, no. You said and I could. Khalas, City have won the league because of how they're speaking. What's that got to do with you? you if you win all of your games, when you're playing Man City, yeah. Oh, because you need them to do you no, a favor because no, no, you've no, not no. been good because enough. If Man City, if Man City beat I them, I get it now. Just, how can I? You've not been good enough. Well, man, United, have man, United have. man United are not in a title race But Liverpool have not been good enough So you're relying on their confidence Or hopelessness or in between To make you feel good about them getting a result the For you to win the league title Let me tell you no, like, Okay look what you said yeah we're, we're not good enough But this is the difference between us and you And this is why you're little bros <laughs> We haven't been good enough I agree But You still get. You guys probably yeah, argue Say this enough. is one of your best seasons But we're up there with you mm-hmm. Do you not understand Like mm-hmm. we're up there with you So like be scared of be, be scared of us fam Like respect enough. us but like with City, this is crunched. April's not a, it's not a, you don't play. So don't how play. does Liverpool win the league they, title for they, 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 uh, How does do Liverpool win? win the league title? We just got to win all like, the rest of our games. Honestly, if we don't, if yeah, we, yeah, if we don't. It sound easy, mate. Yeah, 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 I know. Exactly. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. You still have to go to Trafford. That's how, You're gonna that's Trafford nothing. Or Trafford, yeah? That's nothing. So do we do. Shut up. Listen, well. this is what I'm saying. The only way for us to win the league, win all our games, that's it. Khalas. You guys. Michael Owen? Well, right, Mark Lewin. So if you win the rest of your games, you, 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 yeah. thanks for that. Cheers, mate. I mean, you, you, goals, you, 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 you've, been, you've been incredible today. I mean, if, <laughs> if, if we win all our games, we win the league as well. No, but that's, you're not going to. So why are you going to? <laughs> well, I'm not saying, I never said we're going to. So I I'm saying, what's happening. But, so I said, how, I said, he said, how could you win the league? I said, we win the story. <laughs> <laughs> the story. The story. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, you, don't oh, li- you guys are not listening. Yeah, great story. I'm at the Diallo's part of that story. I'm at Diallo's part of that story. What's that? Who cares? Because clubs fare well. You're going to club. Uh, Off your pop. Sharks, we're focusing on the Premier League and the Europa League, bro. That's the main we're thing. We're trying to get a treble, bro. You said quadruple. You said quadruple. We're, not, we're gonna get how? We're getting we can't play for the quad no more. Yeah, you obviously that's what you wanted yeah, to say. So let's have the treble then. Bring it on. It's, the, it's still here, bro. Let's do that. It's needy treble. <laughs> Where, where's Europa your Europa League Carabao Cup? Well, it's not meaty. And it's you y- Jurgen Klopp's last season and it's meaty. You're saying Jurgen Jurgen Klopp's last season and it's a meaty treble. Yeah. How dare you? Woe to you. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just, we, he asked. He asked you, like, how can Liverpool win the league then? And you that, said, "That's what I said." You the said, story. "Win all our games." I said, "Okay, if we, we win all our games, if we win all our games, we win." And you win. If we win all our games and you win all your games, and and look, you're saying you have, what, like but, we win the league. But look what you just friends. said. Look what you just said. It's hard. It's so like like it's exactly. Easy. So you won't do. I'm either. not saying that it's easy. Then I I'm asked you after. Then, then I asked you after. Cool. Give me another reason why you went in the league. It's the a story. story. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm trying to say. For me, this is it's a city <laughs> thing, bro. Like this isn't, this isn't uh, Disney Channel. This isn't you know. So you don't believe in stories. I love stories. I think stories. I love I stories. Too. Growing. Yeah, bro. I said woe to you. Woe I'm heard that yes. <laughs> yeah. Like Yeah, of course I love stories. Yeah, I love stories too. And this story <laughs> I don't know why everyone's lo- like this is serious stuff. This is what I'm trying to say, Shark. Because I've been involved in title races, yeah, for the last couple of years. I one. understand how ex- how serious this is. How you man are just out here <laughs> You're laughing, <laughs> thinking this is funny. This is not this is not a joke. April's not it's not a joke. It's not something to play around with, bro. Like you guys are talking about st- stop focusing you're focusing on the wrong things. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You might have focused on the blockbusters, this and that. You focus on the rock. T- Shut down Halland. And you just focus on the story. I'm not, yeah. yeah. What's the story? What's the I have to. What's the story then? I have to. Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> I, 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 the greatest manager in my lifetime for Liverpool Football Club, bro. 
Like okay. this is serious stuff. Pep's the greatest manager in everyone's lifetime in every fo- in every game. Ask him, does he every mean more? T- huh? <laughs> where, 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 who, Shocky, they invented fist pumps. Yeah, what means oh. more? We've got to let them have it. It means more for them. It We've got to let them have it. It means more for you guys. But how have you I, made this about Liverpool and City? I, I, was preview. I never made this about Liverpool. Yeah, I never. I'm just saying, like, I want you guys to focus. You guys are not. We focusing. are focused. We literally had an hour discussion. <laughs> to be fair, weighted more towards Arsenal discussion because I haven't got City fan on the table. And we spoke about maybe a few key players. A few. We spoke about Jorginho for a bit. You know, spoke about you know a couple of players, and we spoke about. Arteta, mm. differences between him and Pep, and Pep the tactical um, side to how you know both teams could play. What more do you want us to talk about? Like, I'll, I'll we could talk about every individual player right now. We could, we could have a whole uh, discussion about Ben White and how important he's going to be against whoever they're starting on the left. So about Bukayo Saka, obviously missing an international break for the first time. He's usually been overplayed. You know, recently he's been getting subbed off a lot for Arsenal around the 70th minute mark. He's missed the international camp. Usually he goes international, plays both games. Like, he's going to come fresh. He's having such a great season. We could talk about um, on the left, Martinelli's uh, probably going to be miss out, missing out again, which means maybe Trossard will start. Will Jesus play? Because he's, he's available again. You know, we can talk about so much stuff, but do you want to talk about the players? What do you want us to talk about? Because no. I don't know, you're not just satisfied some, for some reason. I'm never satisfied. You're not, I'm saying, you're not See, satisfied. Look, look, again, look, he's starting, he, wants, he thinks I'm going to fight him. I don't want to fight him, bro. Look, my hands are up, look. I was saying, you're not satisfied at something. What is it? What, this is what I'm not satisfied. This is, I'm not, it's nothing to do with satisfied. You don't want us to be too excited. You don't want us to be too is, laid back. This is, this is what it is, yeah? I just want you, I'm just trying to invite you in my world of thinking. I don't want to go there. This is the problem. <laughs> That's where we are now. No, but you're you know what I mean? thinking, I just isn't want you to. Go on, I, I want. Out, I want to bring you to my world, Alex. Go on, yeah? go on. And in my world, it's a colorful world. Your world, I get it. It's nice, and I love it. Your world, sharks world, everyone's world. Let's it's just monkeys here. clanging I love, cylinders. I love. <laughs> go on, let out. Let like, out. Let me, out. Right, cool. Sorry, Watch this now. Watch this. Sorry. Watch this now. Yeah. Just don't. Counter attack my stuff. Counter attack me when I'm finished. Yeah? Okay. 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 No transitions. Uh, you, you guys again, not confident about getting the three points. You clarified, established. I reckon it's going to be a draw. The biggest thing about it is the blockbuster thing, and the, the whole world's going to be watching United, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to mm-hmm. be like a cup final. That's what that's what I've gathered from you guys. Okay. No, no, please let me okay, finish. Yeah, yeah? Go on, go on, go on. yeah. If Manchester City win, yeah, mm. but Liverpool beat Brighton. That makes Liverpool top of the league. Yeah. Yeah. And above by like two two points, three points or something like that. Look at City's running. Look at Liverpool's running. Look at Arsenal's running. Look who's got the easiest running. Look who's got the harder running. Like you guys are not focused on that. You guys are just focused on your individuality players. You guys are focused on Declan Rice. Da, 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 Saka. You guys are focusing on the wrong thing in my head. Like I feel like I get it. You're excited. You're fighting for the league. But... Please, this is April. This is Manchester City. I'm trying to bring you down to reality and and focus on the things that you need to be focused on. If not you, on the other can things. I can I counter attack? I mean, you may, but sh- I don't. It's not, <laughs> I'd rather Shark's opinion than yours. I'm going to be okay, so I real. Hear, I hear. But like you guys are f- like your manager's bold, fam. <laughs> so so City. So City. <laughs> like, come on, so man. City. That. <laughs> <Just that. laughs> enjoyed that one. I'm going to counter attack anyway. I know you want to hear from Sharks, but um, after the uh, City Arsenal game. City have easier fixtures than you. Who have, they got, who have they still got to play? Not really anyone. You've, let's got, you've got United let's to see. play. Yeah, but I, see, stop making it about you, fam. No, I'm just saying. You've still got United to play. No, I'm Come not on, saying you're you not. understand. It pisses down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> they got a stand that's got no name yet. Come on, man. Who can, can you read out fit City's fixtures? Got, bro, they have an easy. Let's read out. Thing. Let's read out their fixtures. Uh, I mean, uh, aside from Arsenal, <laughs> they've uh, they've only got uh, they've got Chelsea to play. You can't write them off. You cannot write. You can't write with Chelsea, but you can write off United. And Chelsea's at Etihad. Uh, no, that's FA Cup. My bad. Chelsea gets FA Cup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got Stan that's got no name. <laughs> bro, he, he he wanted to invite you to his world. Welcome to his world, by the way. Uh, they got. <laughs> <laughs> have they got three stands or four stands? You were trying to beef him about 30 and 38. You, you definitely bro. said 38. Said 38. And you were just like, <laughs> Welcome to his world. I told you, bro. He said Look, your manager's bold. You know, ago. just like it's monkeys. <laughs> and ago, I, said, I said, Read out the Man City fixtures. I've only got, oh, they got Chelsea in the FA Cup. Yeah. <laughs> you said. Because uh, I'm telling you that what that's is that's their the All right. Please. Villa at home. Palace away. I mean, just league only, yeah? Villa at home. Palace away. Win. Luton at home. Win. They got Spurs away. I was at home. Win. Not away. Away, actually. <laughs> it was away. Which they struggle at. Uh, they got Brighton away. 
Forest away. Wolves at home. Fulham at, away. And West Ham at home. Do all their stands have names? <laughs> Probably not. Cities, I don't know any That's stand it. names. That's it. Do they have any? I don't know any stand names. I don't think they even have stands. Uh, uh, you guys have Spurs. What does that United. mean? Okay, so yeah, can you tell me, Spurs. can you say if that's a... Got Spurs, uh, United, um, it's uh, Old Trafford. We've got them at Anfield. Uh, uh, so you got Spurs, Spurs at Anfield. Yeah, that's yeah. okay, that's a dub. Okay, you didn't want to write off Chelsea, but you think coming to Old Trafford is, is, is not an issue. Please, stop, please, man. Grow up, man. I beg you, grow up. No, no, no. Be serious. Because stop, also, stop. How about this? I get it. You love your club, which you're entitled no, to. No, no, but here, I'm Look saying, behind you. Also... Look behind you. Yes, I'm not. He's going to score. Too few. Yeah, he might. <laughs> too few, too, too you. Too few, is he? Listen, but listen, I, I, how about this? Well, I, I don't want to hear about my no, United listen, and stuff. They like, also have scared, come to bro. Old Trafford. They also have come to Old Trafford. Who? These guys. Arsenal. City don't. So what's that mean? City have an easier running than everyone after the City Arsenal game. Obviously, this, this is the big I, one. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. What did I just say? You I just said, said that you for have Liverpool to win the league. I said two things. What did I say, Sharks? Uh, what's my reasoning? You said um, you said the story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you said. Um, what was the first one you said? You tell me. Win all our games. Win all our games, yeah. This is what I said. Yeah. Did I not say that? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you to read City's fixtures. This is what I'm saying. This is why I'm trying to invite you to my world. You're thinking I'm telling you read City's fixtures because it's going to be... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be <laughs> lost. I'm telling does, you, you it's going to be... No, but do you, how do you Jürgen, to my world? How does Jurgen Klopp coach, story, and win? He stands on the touchline. There we go. Before kickoff. Looks at the opponent play like this. The mic. And then boom, we play we play like that. Well he stares at the opposition on the other side. Yeah, all the time. Nah. Yeah, when they're warming up, he stares and intimidates yeah, he stares, them. Intimidate. So we just gotta be strong and relentless how we've been throughout the whole season, bro. We just gotta continue that. We're not gonna change our game plan like you man, telling me our oh, inverted double double pivot, Thomas Party, Declan Rice together. Loud. Man, I mean, you got it's not gonna okay, work and like one that. more question. I know it's enough to do with City Arsenal. After international break, Trent comes back. Yeah. He's not the How only do you one. fit him in? How do you fit him in? He's not the only one. How do you fit him in? You need the best players on the pitch. Let's be let's be completely honest here. Yeah. He goes back to where he's been playing. Like we just you drop Connor Bradley. Yeah, we, we. I mean, we have to. This is this is best players. Yeah, facts. Look, Allison Kelleher. Well, it's gonna have been amazing since allison has been out. He's done well. He has. But what happens when Allison's fit? Of course, that's different. Allison story. comes in. Like this is serious. This is what we're gonna do. Do you get? Like we have to. Like. All the players, like Connor Bradley, Cali- they, they played amazing. But the real starting eleven is going to come in and that's it, bro. Like, that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what's a bit that's given me delusional hope of us winning the league. I, w- I will with say the, this. Alongside with the stories and winning everything, like, we got we got Trent coming back. Allison, Jota, Thiago. Like, we got all... Is, like Thi- we got all- He's still coming back. Okay, but I will say this. If Liverpool, if Liverpool win the league title... Surely it goes like against everything, the blueprint that you guys say about the systems and control. Because these guys this season, I'm not seeing... It's see nothing it. to do with that. That's it, what I'm saying, Abs. I'm with you. I think it will be the most throwback league you. title that we've seen in a couple of years. Oh, since Pep has come in. I could argue. This football, it's the it can most, happen. It, it can it's happen. It's not about that but No, but over a 38-game season, it don't just... It happens. Yes. Leicester won the league. It happens. Okay, that's a miracle. That's, that's different. I'm saying that if Liverpool win the league title this season, it would be in the most throwback way of doing it, of... Game winners, people who are just intangibles, want it more, run all that kind of stuff. And the whole... Si- what happens to the system, people? It's a long day. Um, it's a very long day. I was, another question is like, um, if obviously Pep and Klopp have both won a league prior, I think the answer for Klopp is easier. Um, if The question is, if all three managers were to win the league, so Arteta was in the league, of course, it's his first league win. It's, we know the feeling of that is amazing. Mm-hmm. If Klopp wins the league, I think this league will be better for him than when he won the first one because it was COVID year, the first one. This is like even the strength of this league for him is better. If Pep wins the league, where does this rank for him personally? Where do you think he would rank this league win? Because remember, there was a season he got 100 points. There was grueling seasons he had against, um, you know, uh, Liverpool to win the league. He's won the league on the last day before. If Pep wins this league, where do you think he would rank in his achievements of like best league wins for City? I think probably... This would be like his what? I think definitely uh, how, how it would for... Klopp and Arteta. It, no, no. In terms so of how it would. first. Like, in terms of... I think it'll be his best it's free, Like, uh, Pep was either by himself or with Jürgen. 
in terms of yeah, winning but the there league. was ones with Jurgen where it's like yeah well, well, Liverpool had head. to win the last 15 yeah, games yeah. for the league you won the last 15 games but he won all his last games but now well. it's, it's, it's well who's well who's involved is someone that's got his book but like Ban said not, not unfinished book it's with that it's with uh, his old assistant manager yeah. like this this means a lot fam so if he was to do it against that and and Jurgen Klopp this has to be his, his best one and his fourth one in a row Come on, bro. Like. He did an interview recently where he talks about it. He just, the interview was like, does it ever get boring? He was just like, I love winning. I lo-. You can just see it in his eyes. He just loves it. And it's, it almost felt like, like this, this Arteta one, like Fu's saying, is just another new storyline. It's yeah. another new thing to just really get him up for it again yeah. because what, like, the question is, is valid because when you're at the top for so long, you start thinking, what am I going to do? So That's why Sir Alex had to just headshot players out of nowhere. Mm. These people that you're like, what's going on? Like, why have you got rid of him? But you do these kind of things... And even for Sir Alex, it's like records. You're chasing things. Mm. And they have that. I remember you were saying um, a while ago about how they have the, the line in their training ground. No, no Premier League team has ever won four Premier League titles in a row. Yet. But these guys have a drive that yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Do I think it will be his greatest ever? No, it might mean more because it's, I've proven myself again. But I think there's nothing like proving yourself for the first time. Your second season in England, you win it by 100 and points. it could never mean more. Yeah, it means more. No, definitely would never mean more. Mean, mean, th- mean more like, FC. Mean more I FC. Mean more Fam, I think it will mean the most to us if we win the league. Nah. Nah. If Klopp weren't That's leaving. Shit. I think because it's Klopp I last think, year. I still think it will mean more for us winning a league finally after 20 years and how we're doing it and how we did it I at, with I, our t- all the managers like Arteta. I actually disagree. I Because I, I think we'll, I think over the next five years we'll have opportunities to win. I think if you won it in the last year That'll of Klopp, nice, yeah. I, I buy that. Yeah, so be but what, I think, I think to answer the Pep question, I think there'll be, there'll be wins like the Centurions win will be like, look, look at that sporting achievement. Mm-hmm. Then another win is like, look how I changed something tactically through the middle, middle of this, you know, the treble win. There, there's wins for different things. Yep. But you like, this is the thing. I think people, People transpose their own mentality onto Pep or Klopp or whatever and go like, oh, True. they'd think like me. It's like, no, 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 no. Never. Like, Pep is obsessed oh, yeah. with winning. Oh, yeah. Like, and you, what? If, more than you believe. More than you believe. If you, met, if you met him in person, mm. you'd be like, this is a weird dude. <laughs> like, I, out, I have, out of context. I have briefly. And yeah, yeah, like, but, but imagine him outside. The, if you was just like some guy who like served you at a coffee shop. Yeah, he was still he was think like, this guy's a stranger. Hey. Yeah. You'd be like, oh my God. Intense, yeah. He's a really intense dude. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what drives them. He's obsessed. What does what? <laughs> what does transpose mean? He said the word transpose. What does it mean? Yeah, but what in what context? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. In what context? Like you gotta speak. Context, but says. again, as you said, all I'm saying is Sunday Arsenal don't do the sexy, sexy thing. Dirty, get the three points, whether it's one nil, whatever. Just I, play. I, I, I think I think we'll go on with a game plan to frustrate them. Um uh, to try and neutralise them as best as possible. Um, we are the away team. They are going to probably dominate possession. So we are going to have less possession. We are going to do a lot of running. Luckily, we have a lot of runners in our team. This team is built with like runners whilst also being able to play really good football. I think we will have passages of play. I think we will have moments where, we have, where we, we're going to control the game, dominate the game. But yeah, I think our best bet is to frustrate them. I think our best bet is to make sure to put them into areas where they're less likely to score. Maybe push them wide as much as possible. Maybe not try and try and not let them control the middle of the park. And I think we have to take our chances when they come because there won't That's be many. It. There won't be That's too many. It. That's we, what I'm we, saying. We, we Don't have, treat this as a Premier League game. We have players like, yeah, Erdog- like fine, we have players like Erdogan now who are not only at the top of the chances created charts in Europe, they're also at the top of the, top of the pressing charts in Europe. Yeah. Like That's what we have now. And someone like um, people like Habits as well, pressing machine. Uh, Martinelli probably won't be able to play, but he he's also someone that has pressing machine. The, a lot of the reason why we do have the best defense in the league is not just because of our defenders; it's also because yeah, of our yeah, attackers yeah. and our yeah, forwards. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to do a lot of pressing, a lot of running. I think our players are going to cover a lot of ground, and I think we just have to not allow them to open up the pitch and you know do what they want with us. I think it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a yeah. good clash, and it's going to be one one for the ages hopefully and hopefully we don't roll over and hopefully we don't just give them everything they want yeah. it'll be a tough it, game in the end because I hear what you're saying in the end to get over the line to do all these things we want to do you have Arteta talks about it all the time you have to focus on what you can control what can what can I control that's winning my next action that's making my body prepare for the next pass it's that it's just being in the moment being present being present being present same in life just mm-hmm. be present mm-hmm. and everything else will come mm-hmm. if we start going oh we've got to beat them because April because you know, whatever, that, that's when it will fall down. I, li- I love what this fixture's become, by the way, as a side point. You know, um, for years it was it was Klopp and Pep and it was 
a clash of ideologies. It was it both expansive football, but expansive in different ways, different philosophies. And obviously, like I even felt it with the United Liverpool game. There's a heritage reason why that game is always going to be incredible. But with this new Arteta Pep thing, it's like you were talking about earlier, the purists, this is kind of for, for a certain type of fan that maybe the majority might look at it and just be like, oh, this is just another stalemate by two big teams. But there's so much more in-depth thought that goes into preparation, habits, systems that you build over years. Which again, if these guys come and spoil the party, they basically say, F all of that. We're just doing this because we have game winners in our team. That, this is a fascinating title race. And, as that, in, as in, and I, I want none of you to win it. That, I, just, I, I don't want any of these teams to win it. Any but three. any of the three, I don't want any, if, if Villa could go on a late title, void, I wouldn't void. mind it. <laughs> I mean, I'll just void the whole thing. But it is fascinating as a football fan. I also think over the next couple of years, people will start to really see the difference between Arteta and Pep. There are quite distinct differences in yeah. terms of how we use how he uses well. wingers, yeah. uh, the type of profiles he goes for, physicality wise, what he you know how he approaches the game. There are quite a lot. Of differences. I do think, it's, and I agree with that. And I do think it's a bit lazy to just say Arteta is a Pep disciple. He is, but also it's, I think people just compare him too much to Pep. Mm. And I agree with you. I think maybe I think it'll become clearer in a couple of years for yeah. sure. Um, that was a good discussion, boys. Um, really enjoyed it. And I think, like I said, how you broke it down, where it is a game for purists, and it could literally it's one of those games that could finish nil nil, but ha be, have so many talking points, mm -hmm. you know, so many things to discuss. Um, whereas for Fuiz, we just see it as a nil nil and just move on. You know, he's I won't say. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> see it as a new nil. Look, see, this is there. again, again. I'll see. You guys will see it as and look what he said. What he said. What he said. You guys will see it. Fuiz will see it as new nil. Be the happiest man alive. Yeah, you should Whatever happens, I'll move on. I've had my favorite moment on a podcast ever, which is you saying they don't even have a name on the stand. <laughs> as a football stadium, we have four stands, right? No, they have a Silas Ferguson stand. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? What's, what's they the have the stand? Stratford end. Stratford yeah. end. Okay, that's a yeah. stand, yeah. Bobby Charlton stand has a stand, surely. That's the one. Oh, yeah, there's See? one stand that's missing. Do you have four stand names? We don't have four stand yeah, names. What did you say? You guys have North Bank and Clock and then the middle. You guys are like that. You guys oh. are over. Okay, you guys are circle. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anfield Road, Anfield Road, Sir Kenny Douglas and Main Stand. Main Stand. <laughs> <laughs> main Stand is like the East Stand for us. Isn't it Main with an E though? No, mean? it's Main. Or is it literally just Main? Main with an E, that's Man City, like Main Road. Main Road. Oh, it's just Main, M A I N. It's like, yeah, it's like this, our, this our Main Stand. So yeah, Main Stand. <laughs> not in the same situation. No, we're not in the same situation. Come on, man. Alex, come on, man. I'm, I'm yeah. asked, got an East Stand and all of them things there. It doesn't make sense, fam. Imagine, yeah. yeah. Imagine you have like. Imagine you do a hundred coin tosses and like you're like you become a local hero yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they approach you and say, yo, when we change the main stand to the Fawizi stand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what does that mean to you? It means everything to me. <laughs> mean everything to me. <laughs> that, go to the Fawizi stand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lad. That mean, like, that are you everything. going to the Fawizi stand, lad? <laughs> this is so I'm trying to say, everyone, uh, viewers, if you're watching, they're all laughing at me, yeah? <laughs> Come last game of the season mm -hmm. and Liverpool are crowned champions. You're going to be there. I'm going to be here. We're going to do a pod and it's just going to be me and Sharks. I don't want no one next to me. No one next yeah, to me. I am going to kill every single person that's part of STS and even made an appearance. <laughs> even that made... That, that, if they that. made an appearance, I'm here. I am going to destroy every single... Do not let Liverpool in the league because it is going to be horrible. There we go. See the motivational speeches that I'm in? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be go. horrible. So make sure to stay tuned for the remainder of the season. SDS is obviously always fun, but when it gets to this point of the season, especially this specific season, it's going to get even more fun. Like I said earlier, we're going to bring back live watch-alongs so you can see our live reactions as we're watching games. As one of our teams might see the title slip away, you'll be seeing that live. <laughs> um, obviously, Champions League games, there's so many stuff. I'll give you more announcements about the live watch-alongs over, you'll see them on our socials, um, Twitter and Instagram. So please follow the SDS account on both socials so you know when we're doing a live watch along uh, and also give Alex a follow he's been great thanks so much for coming on thank you so much thank it's you been, so much, it's been great it's, it's been great and, and of course we love to have you on I'm sure the audience feels the same more so we'd love, love to have to. you on more definitely love to. Love to. Love to. And, um, and yeah we'll see you guys next time and hopefully Arsenal win on Sunday come on bye <laughs>